all K through 12 schools are closed for the rest of the year in the state of Kansas, and it's causing some serious concerns for parents this morning. Obviously, KCTV 5 Savannah Rudisell is live at Wyandotte High School this morning. Savannah, does this mean that that classes are also canceled online? Well, Gina, online options or online classes are just one option for school districts, and that's not the only one that they're exploring right now. It could be a possibility of some schools sending home big homework packets. Others might even have some small group meetings. They're still working through this right now. So today at 5 o'clock, we're going to hear some recommendations from a state task force about all sorts of logistics from things like exact teaching methods, of course, child care for parents, and meal service. Uh, the Kansas State has uh, had a waiver from the USDA offering uh, them the possibility to continue to serve those free and reduced lunches to anyone who needs it. A lot of schools, really on both sides of the state line, have still been doing that even though they've been closed. Now, while uh, Governor Kelly says that schools, they have really needed to close, especially with all of the students coming in in order to stop the spread of the coronavirus. The reality of this pandemic is that it cannot be controlled statewide if school buildings return to normal operations or if they respond inconsistently within our local communities. Graduation plans for high school seniors are also still up in the air this morning. And Governor Kelly says that uh, she mentioned the possibility that if the coronavirus pandemic continues, schools might not reopen as usual in August as well. We'll talk about some of the more long term contingency plans that are offered up right now coming up just a little bit after 630. Reporting live in KCK, Savannah Rudisell, KCTV 5 News. Just unprecedented. So many changes that families are going to be left to deal with. Thank you, Savannah. It's 6:30.